Ladies and gentlemen, this next contest is for over three three-minute rounds in the amateur flyweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 125 pounds. Representing BKK Fighters, Kevin Huang. And now please welcome his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing frontline Muay Thai Norway, Mahud Mikhail! I'm just to start the hall. First fight of the evening, we hope it's going to be a great night of fights. Kevin Wang from the hometown BKK fighters in those black shorts, the violent money fighter, and the visiting fighter Mahmoud Mikhail from frontline Muay Thai with the red on his shorts. And we are underway three three-minute rounds in the flyweight division, Nick. Yeah, it should be interesting to see. Uh, Kevin Wang's making his debut as an amateur. Mikhail comes from a very technical striking team. As the name suggests, frontline Muay Thai. Both guys looking like they're proficient striking in the early doors. Nice left hook there from Mikhail. I like how Mikhail's keeping his hands up. A lot of times with young fighters, they tend to keep their hands down. He's got that right hand right on his chin. And there's Wang dives on the takedown. He's got the hands locked as he's on the single. I guess the takedown, Nick. A little bit of scramble. Good takedown defense by Mikhail. Bounces straight back up. The early signs are that Wang can take his man down. Nice leg kick there from Wang. Mikhail looks to return with interest. Nice jabs from Wang. And now it's Mikhail who dives for the takedown. Nice double leg to back take, and instantly Kevin's back up to his feet, already looking for that wizard. Fumbles underneath. Good work here from Wang. And they both then have scored a takedown in the early going, 1-1. One, one. Wang straight back on that nice educated jab. Looking to back his man up. Well, we've seen a bit of wrestling and striking from both of these guys halfway through the first round. Maybe a bit wild at times in the exchanges. Mikhail certainly throws the wider, wilder punches. Another nice little kick from Wang. It's nice to see Wang utilizing that jab, though. It sets up everything. Oh, Ooh. a big shot there from Mikhail. Big right hand, and Wang is in trouble. Wang able to... Sort of clear those cobwebs back to the center of the cage. Looks like he's moving okay. Mikhail on the takedown again. And he gets it. Wang posting on the head, looking to get straight back up. Nice wall walk. Wang's back to his feet. Mikhail's still got the hands clasped around him though. One of the interesting things, though, is that bit of grappling has given the opportunity for Wang to clear those cobwebs. Absolutely. Here in the second round, whether or not he listens to what Jack and Sean has just told him. Well set up then. Ready to go. Round two. Mikhail had the biggest shot of that first round. But let's see how it plays out in the second. Kevin Wang, Mahmoud Mikhail here. Cage Wars Academy 28 here in Colchester. We're underway. Round two. Again, Wang looking to establish that jab early. Just reaching there, Mikhail, with the, the backhand. Mikhail's definitely the wilder, isn't he, with his, his strikes? Yeah, nice and strike. it seems like he's trying to bait Wang in. 
Like he was almost off of his back foot looking for a counter, and that was what was able to set up that takedown. Now Wang's on the neck, Nick. Look at this. How Has tight he is that? turned that into a dart? I can't see if he turned it into a dart. Has he reached over? I think he's free. Nope. Yeah. So okay, Wang ends up on top. He's got the takedown. Yeah, Inside control. And this is a strong position for Wang. Now is about just making sure that you don't put yourself in a bad position where you'll get swept or rolled. Posture up, maybe go knee on belly. Exactly, go for the full mount. Importantly, he racks up some points here. And he has the ability to run that crucifix, which he's attempting to do. And I'm not coaching right now, I promise. <laughs> it's just I can see it going to happen in the future, and so this is why I say it. Stick a pin in that, remember that. <laughs> Wang here is making Mikhail fight the fight that he wants to fight. And with Mikhail, he's got to look to try to do what he's doing right now, get back to some sort of guard, try and push him away. Anything, I would escape maybe to this wall and try to do a wall walk. Yeah. He can go off of his left hip, start to get his back to the cage. That will help him stand up. But laying on his back for the next minute is not going to win him this round. Uh, this is a big round at the moment for the hometown boy, Kevin Wang. Okay, we're trying to scramble, make something happen, explode. Giving up his neck again, though. Can't quite see from this angle what Wang has, if anything. Looks like he might have an arm in guillotine. Okay, looks like he's... He should be fine. Yeah. Okay, he was going for the Dars. I couldn't see where he was at. He's cinching that neck up again. And Mikhail's doing a good job of not allowing him to step over to be able to create that pressure. Just gave a thumbs up to the referee. Nice shots here from Wang on top. To put a punctuation mark on a big round for him. And it's smart because he had locked down there. So he was able to control it. And there we go. A big right, yeah. Blood fire. Okay, here we go. Third and final round then. Definitely the second round for Wang. Mikhail landed the biggest shot of the first round, so it could all be to play for here. Third and final round. Kevin Wang, Mahmoud Mikhail, and we are underway. Pouring out of that jab again, Wang. Both go for the takedown at the same time. How's it feel? It could be one of those fine margins fights. And there's the, the takedown attempt there from Wang. Beautiful. And the thing with Wang was, Jack Mason screamed out, take him down. And he did. He listened. And young fighters, when they're listening like that, and they just go, okay, that's what I'm supposed to do. Kind of set it up, not really, but he did do the takedown as he was instructed. So a big statement there from Wang in the early going. Now Mikhail looking to return. He's on the single leg. Ends up just pulling Wang on top of him, unfortunately. Oh, there's the sweep, though. So Wang got a little reckless when he was on top. Mikhail seems to be a little bit winded. Yeah, he was taking big gulps of air in that break between rounds. He's on this takedown, not letting it go, though, and he scores it. And now he's looking for something on the neck, Nick. Oh, he's in tight, too. That's underneath the chin. High guard. Wang's punching away. You can't see quite from this angle how tight this is, but it looks tight. Well, until he extends his body, he should be pretty good. Now he's starting to extend his body a little bit more. Biggest thing behind it is Wang's butt got to be as high as he possibly can get it and drive that head into the mat. That alleviates the pressure on the neck. Wang's obviously OK because he's throwing some punches. And he just forced Mikhail to readjust his legs. Yeah. Now what he wants to do is create that frame like he just did, pop his head out. There we go then, good escape from Kevin Wang. He's on top now in the final minute of this opening fight here. Cage Wars Academy Southeast. But you don't know as well how the judges were looking at that submission attempt because that is something that quote unquote scores points. Yeah. So from now, Wang's got to do something in order to really solidify this top position. Three Ds, damage, dominance, duration is how you score fights. It looks like we may find out how the judges are going to score this very first fight here. With Wang 
on top, looking to press home an advantage. It was a good pass. He was able to trap that arm. And the, the good thing about where Wang's at right now, he's in his corner. Jack and Sean can just whisper to him exactly what he wants to do. He's able to acknowledge by looking up, but with 15 seconds left. Yeah. He can move to mount if he wants to, because it's a wide open guard. Just putting the punctuation marks here on an impressive performance here from Kevin Wang. And there we go. We're gonna go to the judges' scorecards now. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards who scored about 29-27, 29-28, and 29-27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Kevin Huang!